Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So guys, I mentioned we're going to do another <coughs> real truck run today. So we are going to be driving for U.S. Truck. I uh, will use the Mac Anthem. <coughs> Excuse me for a minute. Alright, sorry about that guys. So we're using the, the Mac Anthem. SCS is Mac Anthem. Uh, I do know that they drive these trucks. I did see that on, um, I looked up their trucks online, and, uh, I got this as close as I could to what they, what they drive in real life. Ready to roll. So we got, we're hauling some light bulbs from St. George to Page. We got 169 miles to go, so let's get on the road. Awesome looking truck. I always, I do like this, uh, Mack truck. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the content. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribed to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to have the channel grow. And, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone. And a happy new year. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. We'll turn it. We'll get rid of that map here in just a minute. Like I say, guys, we got more stuff coming. I'm look. I'm always looking for other stuff to play, other stuff to check out. So, go ahead and close that up. Got some modded trucks we're gonna be looking at, guys. There's not a, a lot out there right now. There is, there's been a new one that's come out over on the workshop. I think we're gonna take a look at that in first. Another cab over, which is always great to see. Well, we always need more trucks on the workshop, so it's great to see that another one has come out. And uh, I don't use a lot of modded trucks, but I do uh, get in here occasionally and do a uh, a showcase for one or a trailer or something like that. So guys, if you watch my uh, ETS, uh, I had to restart my profile over there with having some crashing issues over there. I'm going to have to go through the mods over there. Um, and certain parts of the map was crashing, so I had to restart the profile. I had to do that over here a couple times too, so I don't know if it's something that SCS is doing that's causing these crashes. Seems like when they update the game, some of these older crashes have these problems. Not some of the older saves, what I meant. We'll go ahead and get a thumbnail here in just a minute. Go ahead and get a thumbnail. We'll have to get it on this side. Bring it in a little bit. And up. Over here, like this. I'm trying to keep that Jeep out of it, too. Uh. 
Well, I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see the name of the on the side of the truck, though. And the trailer. Yep, there we go. That'll work. So I hope everyone still well, like I said, um, getting ready for the new year. I hope everyone has uh, safe plans for the new year. Using a Mack engine in this truck today, guys. 600 horsepower Mack engine with a Mack transmission. 12 speed Mack transmission. Go straight on. This is all Mack. I'm, uh, I'm looking around. I'm keeping my eyes out for uh, truck models that we can check out, mods, um, trailer mods. The RZA hasn't been a lot that's come out so far. Uh, it is until the end of the year, so we'll start. We'll get more, you know, next year. Um, take a look at. Roll the window down. Just a little bit. Using Johnny Cash's uh, interior sounds, his uh, engine sound, air brake sound. <coughs> All back to be found in the workshop. Got 143 miles to go. Get back up, we gotta turn.
climb this hill, see if we can get up the hill here. We should have no issue. This has got 600 horsepower, this Mack engine, so we should not have no issue. Well, more than what they would normally have a uh, uh, truck would have, U.S. truck. So guys, I don't know what uh, the last LS fifty four video I done. I had some issues with the, with the car. I, I've never had that issue with the word. Everything was blue. The smoke was blue. The light bar was turning blue. I I, I had done recorded like two episodes of videos before that. I don't know if I had something to do with it. I was in it too long because I uh, turned it off after I ended the recording and uh, restarted it, turned it off and completely, and it was fine. So I, I don't know, I've never seen that issue, don't know why I was doing that. Oh, they got it for speeding. Just a little bit of lag there. I don't know. I'm, I'm still looking at that. I've also cut down on the mods, guys, on the traffic mods and stuff. Right now, I'm not running any of um, Traffic Master's mods. I'm trying to say maybe that's what's causing the issue in some of his mods. Uh, and it could be Jazz Cat, some of his stuff too, because his mods are, are, have been known to cause some issues with uh, lag and too sometimes. So. So it's possible it could be some of his mods doing it too. I got pulled over. Welcome back to Utah. <laughs>
supermarket drugstore like a greenhouse there. there's an ice cream truck if I want some ice cream Let's see what uh, else there is here in this little town what's up dude you, you just stand there watching me like a house there Gas station there with a little, like a truck here. I'm not sure what that. That could be a hotel. Get or did some back road driving. Normally it's always an expressway, interstate. Love it, we get to go on these back roads. Sorry guy, that's my phone giving notifications. I'm getting notifications all the time. With everything that I've, I've got going on. So sorry about that. Very close to being there. 19 miles. We don't have to. We don't have to go across the scale. We're clear. We keep rolling. I believe there's a viewpoint up here. Let's stop at this viewpoint real quick. Maybe some of you guys haven't even seen the viewpoint, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Let you guys see the let's see one of the viewpoints if you're new. ATS. Oh, we rested. That's not what the viewpoint. We'll be late. That's okay. That was my fault. I thought it was a viewpoint. Turn left. I need to pay attention more.
about to see if I knew that I would have just went on we were, we were real close so we'll be late now most likely Back up. I'd cut it a lot sharper. We're probably gonna have to go in and back out. Yeah. We're at the back up now get to that error. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, well they want it. Oh, they went right in the back corner back there. All right, well, I turn around. They went right in that corner over there. We'll have fun backing it in here. We'll get it in there, though. No, we're not going to skip. We're going to put it in there. We're going to make U.S. truck proud of us. All right, yeah, we was late. I kind of figured we was. We drove 169 miles. It took us 15 hours and 58 minutes to get here. We consumed 23.3 gallons of fuel. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to get here and do a real, another real company run with a U.S. truck carrier. Uh, what he used the Mac Atham is one of the trucks that they actually use in real life. I tried to make it as, as close as I could to what it looks like what I seen online for this. I went like I did promise one more real company run for and then we'll do more of it later. Um, we got some more stuff coming. I want to do some modern reviews on trucks, trailers, and stuff like that. I want to I want to start doing some of that. 
It may not be all the time, but it'll be sometimes. Um, and more things are coming. And uh, a lot more ATS content's coming. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone this year that has subscribed to the channel. And everyone that's been watching the videos. I want to say thank you to the, for that. And if you're new to the channel and you do like the content, don't forget to subscribe. And hit, hit the bell. And notify you anytime that we do uh, post videos. I don't stream much because I just don't have the time. But uh, I want to try to do some streaming too when I do get more time. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, thank you to everyone. And uh, everyone have a good day.